Good morning. It's another Saturday here at the Ronies. We've got a few little old chores to take care of again in the garden. As y'all may have saw last week, we was um, plowing around and hilling up around the corner a little bit with my cultivators. We got that done and it had helped the corn out so much. It's grown so much just in a week that if I don't, we don't get in here today and put a little fertilizer and lay them by that I'm afraid by the time I get back in here next weekend, it's either gonna rain or it's gonna be too high to get my tractor over because it's, as soon as we laid that, we uh, plowed around them last weekend, last weekend it's just grown up so much. But anyway, I got me, I got Amy and Grace is gonna help me lay the fertilizer by. I got Hope, she's gonna be on our camera today. And then Samuel and Charity, we got our babysitter. We got Christopher down there. He's on the other end of the garden killing eight beds right now. So it's a family affair. Everything's going on, but I'm gonna flip y'all around and let y'all see. We got two different sections of corn here. One section was planted with an old planter that, that was given to me a couple of years ago. And it, it lays the fertilizer out good, but to seed the, the plates that I have for it, didn't it skips and it didn't exactly lay the corn the seeds out good enough. And then I got another section of corn that was planted about two weeks later that we laid the fertilizer out with that old planter, which laid the fertilizer out good. And then we came back with a push planter and planted it and it works, it looks so much better. It's so um, fuller and, and, and not as many spaces in it. But let me flip y'all around, see if I can get y'all to see what's going on here. All right, I'm not sure if you can see it yet or not. I'm gonna have to zoom in, but this corn to the left is the corn, see it's, and up here it's not much to it, but it gets down here in the middle and it's just kind of splotchy and not real full. And then we can pan over here to the right and these four rows of corn, they look so much better. They just did so much better with that push planter we were using because we had the right plate for it. And then this right here in the middle was supposed to be peas, but they didn't come up. I'm probably gonna end up disking that up and replanting the peas. But anyway, let me put this camera down and get a bucket in my hand and get to work. This is heavy. All right, well here, put it in my bucket. But not that heavy. Put it in my bucket, you gonna carry it? Okay, well let's walk back down here. All right, we got those four rows fertilized, laid by. Now we gotta run the cultivator over and put a little dirt around it. We're not gonna do these four rows over here. They can wait a couple more weeks. They're a couple of weeks behind these. But normally what I find is they'll end up catching up with these. Several of the tops have been eaten off of by the deer. Uh, at the other property we have, we always had electric fence up and it didn't even, the fence didn't even have to be on. They just knew they wouldn't even get in there with the fence off. It was, it was there so many years and we had it up so many years. They just knew not to get in there. The fence could even be down and you didn't even have no problems with them. But here, this is a, probably about the third, maybe the fourth year we've planted in this garden. And every year we're getting more and more deer in it. I can go out and buy an electric fence and put it up here, but that kind of defeats the purpose of me doing a garden, go out and spend all the money on electric fence. You know, if I'm spending all that money, I could just go buy the food from somebody else that grows it. So I really hate to spend any extra money on the garden. I put up some soap around about thinking that maybe the smell of that, they would think somebody was out here. Maybe I just need to put up some more soap. Maybe you could let me know in the comments what you do to keep the varmints and deer and rabbits out of your garden. Other than coming out here and posting up all night with a shotgun, I'm, I don't have the time to do that. But anyway, any any, any um, suggestions would help as far as keeping the, the critters out of this garden without having to go spend a bunch of money on more stuff. Just leave a comment down below. All right, we're back. After we got through laying those four rows of corn by, I went ahead and, and hooked the disc up on the bigger tractor and disc this up where the peas didn't make it. Because if I don't do it now, I probably won't end up doing it. It'll rain or it'll get too hot or I say, I oh, don't worry about it. So if I don't go ahead and do it now while I'm in the garden, I won't do it. So we went ahead and run the disc over it a few times. I probably, I normally go and I take the rake and rake all the clods down and make it real nice and smooth. But I guess I'm lazy today. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay the fertilizer out. 
This is the old planter I was talking about here that was given to me. It was a blessing to be given to me. But these, um, the plates that I have for it don't do as good as that push planter. Did they bring the push planter? Uh, no, they didn't bring the push planter. Anyway, we're going to lay that. We've got the fertilized hopper here. We're going to lay this fertilizer out, lay us out a couple of rows. We might get, we'll probably get about three rows in there. We'll put three more rows of peas in there. We'll see if they come up this time. homeschool out in the garden. Do you like learning, Grace? Do you say eight after S? Yes. Lay it out. I. that with this. We're going to walk this down and back, okay? You can step in or you can walk. But if you walk, get over here because we have another row over here, okay? Don't get on the floor. Okay, so we're going to do at least two, possibly three rows of zipper cream. Hey, Dad, where do you go?
check on Brian and the other children. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you get notifications on our new videos. Thank you, and you have a blessed day.